بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن از آئنک بانڈ ان بانڈنگ ان سالڈس دیر آر مینی ٹائپس آف کیمیکل بانڈس اینڈ فورسز دیٹ بائنڈ مالیکولس ٹوگیدر سو واٹ از آئنک بانڈ آئنک بانڈ از ایکچولی دا بانڈ وچ از فارمڈ بائی دا کمپلیٹ ٹرانسفر آف ون الیکٹرام آر مور دین ون الیکٹرام فرام ون ایٹم ٹو این ادر ایٹم It is actually the type of chemical bond that generates two oppositely charged ions. Definitely when an atom loses its electron, it bears a positive charge and the rest of the atom that accepts the electron bears a negative charge. So they are oppositely charged ion, the bond between the oppositely charged ion. In ionic bonds, the metal loses electron to become a positively charged cation, whereas the non-metal accepts those electrons to become a negatively charged cation. A9. Ionic bond is observed because metals have few electrons in their outermost shells. By losing those electrons, these metals can achieve noble gas configuration and satisfy the octet rule. Similarly, non-metals have close to 8 electrons in their valence shell tend to readily accept the electrons to achieve the noble gas configuration. In ionic bond, more than one electron can be donated or received to satisfy the octet rule. The charges on the A9 and K10 correspond to the number of electrons donated or received. In ionic bonds, the net charge of the compound must be zero. Here is the example of sodium and chlorine. As we know that the atomic number of sodium is 11, there if we talk about the electronic configuration of the sodium then it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. So there is one electron in the outermost shell of the sodium. It means it have 11 protons as well as 11 electrons. Sodium have a tendency to lose its outermost electron and may change its electronic configuration to 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6. So because of the loss of this electron, it bears a positive charge. Moreover, the chlorine have atomic number 17, which means 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. So there are 7 electrons in the outermost shell of the chlorine. 7 electron as well as the 7 proton. It have a very strong tendency to, to accept an extra electron to complete its octet. So it accepts the electron possibly from the sodium and attain the nearest noble gas configuration and the bond which is formed by the complete transfer of electron from sodium to chlorine is known as the ionic bond. So we talk about the formation of the cations. When an atom loses an electron it produces a positively charged ion or a cation. The most common cations are those produced by the loss of valence electron from metal ions. This is the electronic configuration of sodium 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So one in an valence electron is removed and sodium changed into positive ion. So this is the formation of anions. And we can see that one, one electron is uh, possibly accepted by the chlorine and changed into 3p6. So it bears the negative charge. So actually this is the formation of A9. Here is the electron dot symbol for some selected main group elements. We can see that group 1st A, 2nd A, 3A, 4A, 5th A, 6th A, 7th A and the noble gases. There is the number of electrons that is present in the outermost shell of these elements. Now we talk about the properties of ionic bonding. There are many uh, properties of the ionic bonds. Some of them are listed as they form crystals. Ionic compounds can form lattices rather than the amorphous solid. Although molecular compounds form crystals, they frequently take other forms plus molecular crystals typically are softer than the ionic crystals. They also exhibit high melting and boiling point. This is due to the strong attraction between the positive and the negative ions in the ionic compounds. 
as we know that this is due to the complete transfer electron so the bond between the k tines and a nines are strong enough so they possesses high melting and boiling points they have higher enthalpies of fusion and vaporization than molecular compound as we know that they have high melting and boiling points meanwhile they also possesses higher values of enthalpies of fusion and vaporization so what is enthalpies of fusion and vaporization enthalpy of fusion is actually the heat which is required to melt a single mole of a solid under constant pressure while in the case of enthalpy of vaporization it is the heat which is required for vap to vaporize one mole of a liquid compound under constant pressure so like high melting and boiling points they also exhibits high enthalpies of fusion of and vaporization they are quite hard and brittle their hardness is again explained on the basis of the uh, forces that establish between the k tines and a n by the complete transfer of electrons so uh, in case of brittleness the electrostatic actually the electrostatic repulsion is quite uh, dominant in some crystals which is the reason to uh, to show its brittle properties so ionic compounds exhibits brittle properties they can also conduct he electricity when in molten state in uh, when ionic compounds are dissolved in water they dissociated into its ions and the free ions are very good to conduct heat and electricity they are very good insulators because in their uh, ionic compounds do not conduct electricity very well because the ions are bound tightly to each other in their solid states so they are act as insulators in their solid states thank you very much